what M3 really does is we become advocates for the product and and for the business of the client and for the user. And what's kind of interesting is we can bring all those things into perspective. By having the decision-making criteria in place, you have a tool that you can use to evaluate the concepts and pick the one that's appropriate for you. Product development, to a large extent, is all about managing risk. And you have to have a way to determine how much and what type of risk you want to take as you move forward. And the value of a great strategy is that it, it gives you the tools to be able to do that in a systematic way so that where you're getting ready to tool a product, you don't have five people coming out of the woodwork saying, well, why did you do that? Understand the environment is something that you have to do. And if you skip that step, it's, uh, there's a lot of opportunities and, and assumptions you make that it could be incorrect. So if there's a problem with a product, Human beings are, are so resourceful, they will have workarounds, they will uh, you know, change procedures to make things work. And when we do our observational research in those environments, we look for those kinds of things. You know, where can we make the job easier? What can we do to a product to make it more intrinsically easy to use by, uh, by the people that interface with it? We've got to make sense of this for our clients and ourselves. So our goal is to come up with actionable, defendable conclusions about what we saw. The important part is really to not look at the one little, uh, the one individual that said something specific that's kind of unique, but really looking at the big picture. Uh, what are the main traits of this product that define success? In some cases, we're your engineering team. In some cases, we're your design team. In some cases, we're navigators, and we, we help you get through that morass of you know, what product development is. Mm -hmm.